Greetings, and welcome to another review from the Retro Indie Gamer. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Atari 2600 and one of the games for it, as I recently got, actually got my hands on the original system, as well as a whole bunch of games for it that I'm going to review, such as Frogs and Flies, Barnstorming, Riddle of the Sphinx, Tennis, possibly Sneak and Peek, and of course we also have classics like Combat, which actually came for a system for the first, I believe, the first five years of the console's existence, until their Pac-Man tobacco. Anyways. Mousetrap. Let's see other goodies. Oh, like like the like the awesome Berserk. Star Raiders. Donkey Kong ripoff. I mean Kangaroo. Pole position. E.T., the game everyone seems to hate, but that I, actually, I, I, that I actually find to be a pretty decent game, considering they only have six weeks, but that's going to be in its review. And if you see my series on my Nerf Strader channel on the worst Atari games, you already know what I think about this game. Let's see. M.A.S.H. I think Sky Skipper, Stampede, Super Football, and the subject of today's video, Demon Attack, which was released by E by E Magic in nineteen eighty two. The same company that made Riddle of the Sphinx. This is my Atari 2600. I notice that some of you might notice that this does look different than other forms of the console. But that and that, and that is because this is not the not the original version. This is the second edition released in I think 1985, 1986, somewhere around there. And this is the Atari 2600 Junior. And I, I would definitely recommend getting one of these. I mean, they're a pretty small size. I'd say this is roughly the size of the Wii, maybe a little bigger. And it's compatible with pretty much all the Atari 2600 games. Like the one in today's video, which is... Like I already said, D Demon Attack. Which, is, which uses one of those really strange looking cartridges. Which a whole lot of companies used. As to why a lot of companies used them, I have no idea. Now let's try. Now let's see what this game's all about, shall we? And here's the joystick. We're all ready to go. As you can probably tell, this game is very similar to Space Invaders. With all these enemies coming down the screen, and you're this guy defending these from these guys up here. This is also similar to another Atari 2600 game, Demon Attack.
Now this thing is hard fast. And this game's a lot of fun. The controls are pretty fluid, especially with this, considering I'm using the Atari 2600 joystick, which is not known for being very accurate. Fortunately, this thing is also compatible. Fortunately, this console is also compatible with the um, with the Sega Genesis controller. Let's try again. Let's see. I'm getting on. Whoa, that's a whole lot of bullets all at once. In a way, this is sort of, this is sort of common, a combination of Space Invaders and Galaxian. Simil and if you play Galaxian, you'll know what the similarities are. Because in Galaxian, you see the bullet at, before, before, right before you fire it, and you can only fire once per, only fire one shot at a time. You can't fire again until the bullet is left the screen. Got him. Let's see. Oh, next level. Oh boy. Now I have more more enemies. Yeah, if you didn't play this game, I would highly recommend it. As this is one of the best games in the Atari 2600 library. And the graphics are actually very good for considering this is a game from 1982. And I believe this game has also been ported over consoles. Oh, oh boy. I'm in for it now. Now they split into smaller enemies. Arrgh! Well, that was Demon, Demon Attack. A game that's part of my review of the best Atari 2600 games of all time. Stay tuned until next time, everybody, with our review, which I will be reviewing another classic from this console. Come on, come on, come on. This game, this game is really addicting.